Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be doing a quick walkthrough of my new, not so new, it's about a month and a half old, but my Filofax Malden is in the color oak gray. These are actually quite popular right now, as far as I know in the planner community, but I was very excited to get my hands on this. I actually was slightly persuaded by my friend Brianna. She got this in the A5, but I am a huge fan of the personal size ever since I got my personal Wesley Kate Spade planner. I ended up using that as a wallet with like slight lists and all like small calendars in this and I just love it for on the go like quickly jotting stuff down. Of course give me my like wallet stuff in here and just quick little list I guess if that makes sense you'll kind of see what I mean by all that when I open it up and let you get into it so we're just gonna go right into that so in the beginning I have over here some cards I have a gift card I have my Costco card I have a driver's license and my debit card I have some more cards right down here that I'm not really gonna show but I just have extra there's only four card slots but there is a bigger pocket back here where I keep like cash sometimes and then I have like anything that's majorly important that needs to be given to someone anything of that sort I do have a Kate, Kate Spade uh, bow clip right here that I I got two of these and I gave one to my friend Becca but then I have one more right there I do keep a little bit of change in here just for like vending machines at work. I have a little zippered Filofax pocket which was outrageously expensive on Amazon. I paid eight dollars for this. Definitely not worth it. I would look for something cheaper if I was trying again but I just have some small little icon stickers. I don't decorate this very much but I do like to keep icon stickers just because it makes it look a little bit cuter and I made these myself so I have a couple different colors in there and I also have an old Starbucks gift card just to cut any washi if I do decide to decorate it. On the front here I have two little paper clips or um, magnet clips from what is it the crafted van they're two little sea otters i love sea otters and i also think they're really cute because they look like they're holding hands if you put them together and i just love sea otters one of the first like major dates my boyfriend and i went on when we first started dating was to the aquarium and so just sea otters are awesome and I have a sticky note here. I'm actually moving, so there's a lot of details of moving, so I don't want to show you that. And then I get into uh, daily sheets. These are all my inserts, for the most part, are from So Much Crafting, unless I tell you specifically otherwise. But most of them are. Her paper quality is the best. I have a couple of these. I haven't really been using them recently, but I got a couple just for different days when I wanted to do, like, an extra... When I really wanted to sit down and divide up a certain day. So there's a couple in here. I have one from like a planner meetup in November. So just different days. So I have a couple of those in here. Like I said, I don't use them that much. Mostly if I want to really divide up my day, I use my day designer. I also have a simplified planner that I have from last year that goes until July. So I have both of those as options as well if I really want to divide up my day, but it's nice to have these in there. I also have weekly routine inserts from So Much Crafting. I plan to start using these, especially as I'm starting to work out and do all that fun stuff more. I just got these in last week, so I haven't really set them up yet, but I do like having those. And then I go into weekly inserts. These are from Webster's Pages. I got them off of Blitzy back on Black Friday, and it took like a month and a half to get here. It was insane, so I definitely do not recommend ordering from there. But I do like having these. The paper quality is noticeably worse <laughs> than So Much Crafting. I really wish I had ordered her inserts instead. They probably would have gotten here quicker, and the paper quality would be a lot better. But I do have these, and I plan on using them. I have... Just so you can see my little dividers here, I got these from Whimsy Kim, I want to say. I'll link her Etsy shop down below. I love the quality of these. They got here super quick. They're all laminated. They're super cute patterns. They're also double-sided with different patterns, which I don't know if a lot of shops do that, but she did, and I love it. She also threw in extras like this, for instance, this... Uh, little bookmark here and I love this. I don't think she sells these individually on her shop. I wish she did but I definitely plan on order ordering more dividers from her and I really hope I get another one. But just so you see overall, I have gotten in decorating the week on two pages but it's not as in-depth as I really like to go. I like to really split up my day in my Erin Condren or my Inkwell. So it's, it is the important stuff, but it's not enough. It's not enough space for me. Also, as far as the weekly stuff, it's just not enough room. It's just like five things that I actually have to get done out of the million for the entire week. So that's the only problem I'm running into as far as the personal size. 
Um, this is this week. I have a couple things to do. This is actually from the notepad in the back from the file facts, just lined paper. Again, it's not as good quality as so much crafting. I prefer her paper, but it's nice to be able to have a notepad, rip it off and put it in. It's already punched, so I like that. So this, this is just this week. And then I have a couple more weeks. I don't keep a lot, like a lot of future inserts. I just keep, for instance, here until April, the beginning of April, just to kind of have them in here if anything major happens. But I do have a monthly spread. By the way, I don't know if I even mentioned this, but this first category is called daily slash to do, which I need to rename because it also has the weekly. But then keep going. I also have some get it done sheets, like to do lists from her. And I do have a good chunk of these in here because I'm a huge to do list person. So that's there. My next section is called monthly, and then I jump right into it. I do have, I'm not gonna show you that, but it is a to-do list for January that I have in here. And then this is my January monthly spread. As you can see, no decorating, no stickers, nothing. I use a highlighting system, which is really old school for me. I haven't done highlighting since like high school, but um, I do use that and it works really well. I just have small little important things that are going on. I have a couple covered up, so I'm sorry about that. And then I have my little file facts bookmark that came with my Malden. So then I also have February filled out to a good point. I have like over here in the sidebar, I keep anything major. Like I have an old Navy coupon I really want to use and it's from February 4th to the 10th. So I made a note to use that. I have like bill due days. I have my birthday on here. I have major meeting that I have going on that day. And then I have a day that I have to turn in my keys at my apartment. So just important stuff. I have another crafted van little bookmark. This one is a snowman. I never got around to use it during the holidays. So it's just hanging out here. And then behind that, I actually have monthly, I don't know what she calls these, I wish I remembered the name, but it's like each day has a line for the month. And I really like to use these to plan out my YouTube videos or anything majorly important that's gonna take up the entire day. So I like having these as well, just to kind of have a different way of seeing things. I also put people's birthdays on here. February is not filled out yet, but it will be soon. I have some of her monthly bill like trackers, which is awesome. I like to put all my bills and then check them off. And I do keep track of the amounts just to kind of see how things change as far as like water bills or if any of that goes higher, all that kinds of sorts of stuff. So I do have those. And then next I have some of her, I think I want to call these like check register inserts. I like to use these just to keep track of what I'm spending because I'm trying to get that a handle on my spending and kind of know where my money is going. So I do have these. I'm not gonna show you the filled out ones, there's just a couple in front of this, but I do really like these and I'm honestly about to order some more. Next, I have some of the saving trackers, which are awesome as well. I really like her financial inserts. And then I also have some debt repayment plans, which are gonna be used for like student loans and that kind of sort of stuff. So next, I have my little Sarah plans category, which I like to put anything YouTube related or like planning related in here. So the first page is actually coupon codes that I have from Etsy shops. So I have like a pretty on paper co coupon. I have a planner wonderland coupon. I have a parade coupon. I have an Oh hello coupon, whimsical plans. Well, that's one that I got on a package and then little miss papery. So I try to keep track of all those right there. I have a little list of stickers that I want to make myself just so that I have an idea just to make them for myself. I don't have an Etsy shop or anything, but I do like to make myself stickers when an idea pops in and then Behind that, I do have some of her address keep book type inserts, and I do have some ahead of here just for like friends that I've made in the planning community or people that I like to send packages to. I have all their addresses in here. And the last section is just paper, which is not very exciting. I do have some of the So Much Crafting lined paper as, far, as well as the graft paper. And then in the back, I have some of the file facts paper that I just use if I'm quickly jotting down a note. Behind that, I have the little pocket that comes with all file facts planners, and it is just the little one that has the pocket at the top. You just slide stuff in. I have two little samplers from different sticker shops that I shoved in here, and I also have a receipt that I need to take back because I have a coupon that I didn't use. You also know how that is. And then in the back, there's actually a little notepad that I'm coming quite a fan of and you just rip it off and put it in right here I just had a phone call that I need to write stuff down on so I just took my little pen I keep a steadler in here normally it got lost when I was on the phone but normally there is a pen here so I just pop it out write a note and then I can stick it into my file fact
backs. So that was a really quick, very, probably not very interesting video, but this is my current setup of my Malden that I'm completely in love with. Again, I love using this just to quickly take notes if I'm out and about or if I need to write something down if I'm at work and something comes up or that sort of thing. So I really like how this is working for me. I think it houses all the important information. I do also keep mostly, I think, I want to say in the weekly section, if I'm going grocery shopping, I'll stick like a little list in here and just keep that and then cross it off as I'm shopping. So that kind of stuff. So I'm really a huge fan of how this is working for me. So if you are becoming a fan of personal size planners, let me know down below what you use and what inserts you like. Also for some other insert shops, if you know of any ideas that have some different types of inserts, I really like the ones I have so far. So I'll probably keep ordering those. But if you have any different types and more of an, a, I don't, more unique types of inserts, let me know because I'd love to check them out. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a good day.